Hi folks, I'm Martin Butler. I've been working in the t-shirt industry for over a decade now, working from home as you can see here, and I'd like to share with you how you can start your own t-shirt printing business working from home, just as I did. Keep watching. Right, well I've been in this business now for probably about 12 years at the time of me making this video and I just want to go back to basics because a lot of people who are starting in the industry can get very, very confused with today's sort of technology. And when I first started, I had the same issues as many of you lot looking for a way to break out of the rat race or to create a small business you can start as a hobby and grow and grow until you're in a, such a position where you can actually make the final jump to leave full-time employment or you might be a club or some sort of organization who wants to print their own merchandise, or you might have your own YouTube channel which has been growing and growing, you might want to sell your own products in the way of t-shirts. But forget about all that for the moment, let's go straight back to basics. What do you actually need to start off in the t-shirt industry by being a little bit more professional than the transfer papers out there which tell you that you can iron them on and they'll be fine. Right, well first of all, you're gonna need a heat press. This is your main piece of kit here, as you can probably see here. That's gonna make or break your business, to be honest with you. And if you buy a rubbish one or a cheap one, one that doesn't have a constant heat across the whole of the plate, then you're gonna forever have issues and you'll never get your t-shirt printing business off the ground. I know that, I was in that situation. I brought a cheap press when I first started and that nearly made me pack up the business because I couldn't consistently provide the quality results over and over again and that was until I found uh, a decent heat press. So that's your main piece of kit. Right at the beginning, when money's probably hard or you probably want to, not too sure whether you want to invest a large sum of money, then you can go down the road of cut, using craft cutters uh, to cut out the transfer papers and also vinyls if you choose to use vinyls as well. I'm gonna take it right back to basics and I'm gonna say, just have your heat press, you've probably got a PC, a laptop or whatever, and also your, ho your own home printer. That's all you need. I use dye-based inks in my printer. Most Epson printers come with either dye or pigment-based inks. Both inks are uh, acceptable for transfer papers. And this is the sort of thing that you can print out. I've just printed out this on one of my transfer papers. So what we're basically looking here is a full color image printed on a normal home printer. And this is the sort of thing uh, that you can create using other people's artwork. You haven't got to design anything yourself. I had this artwork created for me when I uh, started this YouTube channel. I've printed it in the reverse, that's why you probably can't read it. But as you can see, the, the print quality is very, very good. You don't need a photographic quality printer for doing this. A basic inkjet printer will do the job for transfer papers. Now normally, once you've actually invested in your heat press, you could go out and get a craft cutter. Obviously, this is quite a straightforward image to cut out. I'm just gonna cut it out using a pair of scissors or a craft knife, so let's quickly do this. Now, because I've got a straight edge here, I'm just gonna use a ruler and place it just around, as near as you can to the edge of the image, because this transfer paper that I use on white t-shirts doesn't leave any residue around the image. But if obviously, if it was a curved image, you wanna cut it with a pair of uh, scissors. And as you can see, I'm just trimming away some excess there. There we go, it's as straightforward as that. So now my image, printed on a special transfer paper, this isn't normal paper, printed off special transfer paper on my home printer, printed in reverse, is now ready to press onto a t-shirt. Now there are different brands and makes of transfer paper. Uh, you need to buy a, a very good one. Some of the cheap ones you get on eBay, which are designed to be ironed on, are not really gonna be any good. They might look all right when you first pull them off, but in the wash, they will probably peel and crack within one or two washes. These ones I've used, I've used these one now for literally, since I started uh, 12 years ago, and I've never changed from this paper because they do the job. And on my YouTube channel, you'll also see other 
videos of where I've actually washed these over and over again and you can actually see the quality of the papers that I use. I reveal that information in my training DVD, as you can see here, this is my training DVD, where this takes you right back to basics on how you can start a business. You don't need the most up-to-date gear now, you can use some second-hand equipment, and you'll even see in here, I've got a, a, an A4 cutter called a Craft Robo. So you'll see in here what you can actually use right at the very beginning, and the stuff you see in here, I used selling T-shirts, thousands of T-shirts, for over nine years. So. Have a look at that, I'll leave a link in the description below there. And with this, you'll also get my full email support, and that means you are able to email me on a direct one-to-one -one basis if you need help and advice after you have looked at the DVD. The DVD contains from how to start off and how to run the business with regards to producing the garment, from the type of transfer papers I use to the equipment I was using at the time. The DV cost also includes my email support. Now that is not you contacting a help desk or a knowledge base. You get to email me direct and I can give you the most up-to-date and relevant information. That alone is worth the price of the training DVD where you've got ongoing support from me personally. And I do carry that out. So all we're doing here, we've got an old white t-shirt here. This isn't a new one. It's one I've had in the drawer for years and years, and I'm just gonna do a few test prints on this, this being the first one. So all I've done there is I've pressed the T-shirt without clamping it down, and I've done a 10 second press on that just to take any moisture or wrinkles out. And I've done that for the complete shirt. And as you can see on that side, it's also got some graphics on there already, not worried about that. But all I want to do now is to find the center of the T-shirt. And the way I'm going to do that is to literally fold the collar in half, until everything matches. Hold it up and let the garment hang until the seams are actually equal both sides. Throw it underneath and just give it a gentle press. And what that does, it gives us a nice central line down our garment. I'm going to lay our garment down on the worktop. I can see my central line. And also what you want to get yourself is one of these lint rollers just to take off any lint or stuff on your t-shirts. I'm gonna get my transfer paper now and I'm gonna place it face down and just get a couple of little bits of heat sensitive tape just to hold it in place. Like that. I'll take it over to my heat press, stick it underneath, cover it over with a Teflon sheet. I've already set the temperature to the desired temperature for these papers which is 190 degrees C. I'm gonna pull the handle down and I'm gonna press this garment now for 30 seconds. Okay, let's lift it up like that, remove the cover, and I'm literally going to pull this off in one go. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stretch out, as they recommend with quite a few of these t-shirt transfers. And there you go. That is our full color image done with a t-shirt transfer on a white garment, and as you can see, it's a lovely definition. Let's lay it down and I'll give you a closer look. Right, well as you can probably see there, I'm trying to get you right around the end there. You cannot see any residue around the edge there of the transfer paper. And looking at all the different colors and uh, designs that you have there, everything's come absolutely lovely. And that is what you can achieve when you're using decent transfer papers on, uh, these are for white t-shirts, these papers, and the feel of them is actually very, very good, and they are also very, very stretchable as well. So all we've used there is our heat press. We've used our normal home printer, no special printer or anything like that, and we're able to produce a quality image on a T-shirt or any other garment as well. Uh, there are various different types of uh, applications or materials that you can use for lycra and stuff like that. These are for 100% cotton T-shirts. This isn't sublimation, this is straightforward printing from an inkjet printer, what you've probably got already at home. There will be a learning curve, you'll need to learn how to use some, perhaps some photo editing software maybe, and also you'll need to invest in buying a heat press, but once you've done that, you'll be able to produce quality garments like this. Don't think for any minute that you can try and run a business or start a business using the iron-on transfer, so that's what one mistake most people do. They go out and they go to eBay, for example, they'll buy the cheapest transfer papers they can, which are just iron-on. They'll not see the professional results, and as a result of that, they'll never take it any further. Make the right investment, get the right papers. I'll reveal all that 
in my training DVD. I've also got hundreds of hours of training in tutorials on YouTube in one of my playlists on my channel, which you can check out all free of charge. But so many people have started up businesses either watching my videos and learnt so much. And I'm producing ongoing videos now where I'm experimenting with some new products out there at the moment. But that's not for you right at the very beginning. We're talking about some more investment, major investment maybe, but that's coming up in future videos. If you want to start in this business and you are interested, check out my training DVD. It works all over the world. I've got people from all continents, people who have actually successfully started t-shirt businesses after watching my vi video and also contacting me on the one-to-one -one basis when they need help and advice. That's what we can offer you and that's what I've done for the last 12 years and you can do it too all working from home. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget, check out my training DVD and it comes with the online support where you contact me direct. Anyway, that's for you beginners out there. You'll have some more advanced videos in my playlist if you look there and have a check through on my t-shirt training videos and you'll learn a lot more about what I'm going through now with regards to experimenting with some brand new transfer papers and seeing how you can take your t-shirts from 10 to 15 pounds uh, items up to 25 pounds just by changing the media or the transfer paper to uh, a whole new quality of products that are coming out on the market now and are accessible for people like you and me. Okay then, thanks very much, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you again in the next video and until then, bye for now.